Hi everyone, I'm Erin Bassett and today I'm going to show you how to make some great little projects for Mother's Day. In this first video will be this basket and I'll show you how to make it out of just two pieces of 12 by 12 paper. And then in the second video is this great little mini purse made out of just one sheet of 12 by 12 paper and inside is some cute little note cards. Okay, I have the bag 35 from the USB number 4 pulled up on my Scan and Cut. Now you can see it's a great bag. It will fit on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and when I assemble it, it'll be really cute, but it'll be rather small. So to make it a little larger, we are going to divide the design in half and cut out one half on a 12 by 12 piece of paper and the other half on another piece of 12 by 12 paper so that when we assemble it, it'll be a little larger. Okay, so let's get started on that. Go ahead and click OK. And now we can see it's on our mat. We're going to click that icon and now the selection button. You have two options when you select it. That one on the right will select everything on the mat and that's not what we want to do. So we're going to select the one on the left and then you can grab one of those little arrows and pull it down so that it just has half of the mat selected and click OK. You can see it did it correctly so we'll click OK and now you'll hit that little trash can to delete that half and it looks great. Our only little problem is right at the middle seam of that bag it's not going to cut all the way across because that's not how the design was created. It was created to continue on to the other half. So to add a cut line right there we are going to click OK and Add and then we'll click on the borders and if you scroll all the way through you can see at the end there's some perforations and a cut line. So it's BOB001, that's the cut line. You'll select that and you want it to be pretty large but it doesn't matter if it's larger than your design because it's just going to cut the empty space on your mat. So I'm going to make mine about 8 inches and hit Set and you can see there it is and I am going to line it up right there at the bottom. I'm not sure if it's lined up well because it's so tiny so I'm going to zoom in, click the mat, click zoom and I can see I did pretty good. It might need to be nudged up a little bit so I'm going to select nudge and just go up one click, click on the zoom. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, okay. So now I'm going to select everything on my mat again. This time I'm going to click that red one because that'll select everything. OK. And now I'm going to group it or unify it, however you want to say it. So once you do that, there's no going back. It's irreversible. You're going to click OK. And now when I move it, both my little cut line and the, the half of a design, they're all unified. They're all one. So now I can increase its size. Let's stick that kind of middle-ish, go to our size button and just make it as big as it can get. Now you can see it's 11 by oh, about 11 and a half. When I rotate it though, I can get it to be a little bit bigger, although my dimension sizes, let me go back to that um, last screen, my dimensions will change because my whole thing is flipping. Um, but that's okay. I'm just going to ignore it because I can visually see it getting bigger. So go ahead and hit the rotate button. I like to do it by 10% increments and I just keep clicking that until it's diagonal. So let's see, maybe like that. And pull it back into the middle so it has room to expand. I'll click OK and now I can make it bigger and that looks like it's pretty good. Let's see, maybe if I nudge it a little bit more, I can get a little bit more. You need it to be centered in order to get it to expand anymore. So let's see. Yep. Okay, that's about as big as I can get this bag to be. Um, and like I said, those dimensions are off from our first dimensions because we've rotated it. But it is quite big now. Okay, so we'll just click OK once we have it all settled on there. Keep clicking OK till you get to the cut screen. We're going to click cut. And then press start to cut it out. 
And you can see now when it cuts out, Okay, so there's our piece. And now I'm going to take this one and the one I cut out previously over to my work surface and get started folding it. Okay, so here are our two cut designs cut out of real paper, not just the little pretend ones that we made. And you can see that the small design, the one that fit on just one 12 by 12 piece of paper is quite smaller than the one that is this design where we cut it in half and cut it out on two pieces of paper and then assemble them together. Um, so you can choose which one works best for your project. Let me show you how to assemble this. Okay, I like to use a dry adhesive um, when I'm doing it and I like to start off by first just going through and folding everything down so I can just glue it and go. I'm just going to fold on all those little perforated marks and the perforation makes it so much easier than attempting to fold a straight line yourself so that's always good and then one more for that I like to open it up okay so that side's all folded let's go ahead and fold this one let's start with that Big one. There we go. Fold in those tiny little corners. Make edge flaps. So the great thing with having two pieces is that when you overlap it, you can decide how wide you want the base of your bag to be. So you can have it, you know, overlap exactly, um, you know, lined up, or you can slide it out a little bit, um, or a lot of it, depending on how far you want it to go. Um, so I'm going to make mine, you know, pretty large. I'm going to just put it right at the edge, a piece of all the way down. And I want to make sure when I line it up, I'm lining it up, you know, as accurately as I can so that um, those creases and the edges all line up. Okay, so you now you can see it's much, much bigger. And now we're just ready to uh, assemble the rest of it. I like to start by flipping it over and I put adhesive on the little triangle parts and then the outer flaps all on, you know, all four of them. And that's really the only adhesive you need. Now um, these little flaps, you just want to make sure you only get the little flap and not the rest. Let's see where this little one's hiding. And the last one. Okay. So now we're ready to assemble this. And to do it, I start with those little triangles. And I have it so that, hopefully you can see, okay, what that little triangle is. I like to fold it under and then just have it meet up with that edge and stick it down. So hopefully... You can see how that just makes that corner right there. And then I take that edge piece, the corner and the edge, line those up, smooth it down, and I just continue that all the way around, all four sides. And the last side. Okay, so there is our little basket, and now it's all ready to be filled up with some, maybe some note cards and some other fun little gifts. Make sure you tune in for the next video on how to make this little purse full of these cute little note cards.